this is my brain. So I was water and I observed Earth and from that uh, interdimensional axis so I could also observe the dimensional existence. And you can't help ask, but you know, why? What is going on here? Because you see the strange um, manifestations, interdimensional manifestations inside human beings' physical bodies. And you see demons latching onto human beings interdimensionally. You see guides or angels or masters or whatever, how you want to call them. And they're just standing around watching children being abused, watching murders occurring, watching violence proliferating. And they're supposed to be what? Gods? Masters? Angels? And they're allowing this stuff? They're allowing the demons to consume human beings, possess them? And they're just standing back and allowing all of this on earth to manifest. And kind of then you wake up, because then you realize it is impossible for a something of a godlike essence to exist in any way whatsoever if dimensional beings are supposed to be in charge, who are labeled as gods and masters and angels, are standing by and allowing such horrific acts to, uh, to take place. And, you know, then, then it's, 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 it's a fascinating experience because then you start realizing that the power or control of existence in this world is in beings, dimensional beings, who have no care, who have no regard because they're allowing such acts to proliferate and to continue. Standing back, actually allowing it, watching it. And, you know, I don't know if anyone else realized this, so I, all I did was I just continued observing. I just continued um, looking at what is going on here. You know, why is everything this way? Why are dimensional beings that are in power and control of this existence allowing these things on earth to manifest, to continue. Why is this happening? Where is something that is responsible for this? Where is someone or something that is responsible, that is able to take responsibility and just sort all this, all this out? Because surely human beings are what they are because of the allowance, not only of themselves, but also because of these dimensional beings we know they're able to take action and stop certain acts, but allowing it. And apparently, you know, as I observed and I continued to observe these interdimensional manifestations in existence, it's apparently God, what do you call it? Karma and lessons to be learned. Okay, so who designed that? Who says that human beings must experience war, rape, murder, molestation, abuse, violence, because of a lesson? Because of karma? What the hell do you want to call that? To me, Human beings are completely unaware, not a clue, not an inkling of an idea of what was actually happening to them. Because no one could see these interdimensional beings allowing this shit. I mean, fuck, if you would have stood there and experienced being abused, and you could see a dimensional being standing next to you, just watching, doing fuck all, you would have gotten pissed off, extensively. You would have probably went, what the hell is going on, unless you were mind warped to believe that that event had to take place for you, apparently, to learn a lesson. 
that's mind warped. That's what I would call it. And that's what it seems all of humanity has become, mind warped. Into believing firstly that whatever is being experienced here has some grand design or has some purpose or has some reason justifying their experiences, defending their experiences. What? No. I'm honestly able to say to you that there's no reason and no purpose for anything that exists in this world at the moment because it is not supporting you. It is not supporting anyone. And only up to two years ago did I realize that, that part, that, that there's no one in existence that's going to stand up unless I do, or unless each and every single human being does, and dimensional being included, and that each one of us have to stand up and take responsibility to start directing effectively and manifest that who we are. That, um, that dimensional expression that was allowed in the dimensions, that unconditional freedom of expression that wasn't allowed to be here on earth, to manifest here on earth now, and there has been beings that has experienced that, but just not here on earth. And that's why we call it heaven to be manifested on earth, to manifest that unconditional self-expression as who we really are, freedom. You know, freedom. At the moment we're not free. Mm -mm. We're imprisoned by beliefs, perceptions, ideas, that we are apparently required to learn lessons through karma. No, it's not true. So that is all I have to say at the moment. And I hope that brought you some insight into what I've experienced and the current manifestation of this world it's not who you are. I'm able to say that with certainty. And who you are is manifesting as every moment we in the dimensions apply ourselves effectively. Thank you. This is Mark Twain.